Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through road marking visibility. So as we already discussed like a sign visibility, in the same way road markings should also be visible properly and clearly guys. Previously they are side of the road, but now they these road markings are on the road. So you are also traveling on the road. So basically these signs should be shown really ahead guys. Yes, or exactly at the point, right? So only then you can identify. So in reality, we will be using the concept of exactly at the point. So wherever it is there, at that point only you will be drawing them. So assume that here there is a left turn. So in that situation on the road, you will be drawing it in this way. Okay. So someone could take the left turn there. Sorry, right turn there. So in that way. So on the road only you will be drawing at the exact point. Remember that guys. Okay. Yes. So the marking should be visible during the day and night. Yes. So that is also mandatory because you drawn it. But if it is not visible at the night. So what is the use of it? Right. Yes. Because it should help both the morning and evening the night times. Day and the night times. Okay. So driver traveling at a different speeds also must be able to detect. Detect the marking at the distance of two seconds travel time so basically we will be considering this two seconds as the minimum time guys so this is the minimum preview distance okay yes so here i have just solved a small problem guys because in some examinations if they may they may ask for these kind of problems so assume that your speed is 40 kilometers per hour okay and he is asking the minimum preview distance so how much distance how much before that particular point you can observe it so basically if that sign is here so what is the distance of you and the sign before you notice it so that's what we will be calculating here okay yes so here we will be converting this into kilometers or meters per second i think i converted into meters per second here okay yes so i hope everyone can convert for meters per second right yes so basically if you are a bit confused first of all you what are you trying to calculate guys for second right yes so one hour is equals to 60 into 60 so first 60 is a for minutes and next 60 is a for seconds so seconds okay so that is a nothing but 3600 seconds implies 40 kilometers so basically in one hour you can go 40 kilometers similarly in one second how much you can go so just cross multiply you will be getting this value guys so this i did not convert it into meters so we got in me in kilometers okay so if i convert into meters i can do into thousand so i'll be getting 11.11 meters so 11.11 meters per second got it yes so at the end we got that so now i told you right two seconds is our view time right yes so 2 into 11.22 that is nothing but 22.22 meters is the minimum preview distance okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about it right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the various markings types of markings or classifications of marking you can say okay yes so that's what we'll be discussing in our next lecture okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching